Imagine mastering the art of effortless breaststroke swimming. For over a decade, I've been perfecting a technique that has helped countless students. This video should be legal and swim instructors worldwide should hate me for revealing this breaststroke secret. Hey, I'm Dan, all-American swimmer and owner of New York City-based swim school. I have been teaching swimming since 2008, refining my teaching techniques to suit swimmers of every skill and level. Let me show you why breaststroke is perfect starting point. My proven and efficient approach has successfully shaped hundreds of students since 2008. Give me seven minutes and I'll share the secrets of effortless breaststroke with you. Let's start with a solid foundation for our breaststroke first. Let's make it easier by matching the breaststroke pulls with the flutter kicking. Initiate the float with your arms extended in front. Tuck your chin and start kicking. Turn your palms and pull the water away. Push the water aside using your palms and forearms, keeping them submerged. Bend your elbows and bring your hands together under your torso to recover your arms by slicing the water with your hands. Extend your arms in front and hold them steady while executing flutter kicks for a couple seconds before starting the next stroke. Pull, slice, kick, kick, kick. Pull, slice, kick, kick, kick. It's crucial to pause with your arms extended in front for several reasons. Firstly, you need to differentiate the beginning of the stroke from the end. You'll find out why it is essential for us later in the video. Secondly, before you can come out of the water and breathe, you must spend some time exhaling in the water. Now that we figured out the mechanism of breaststroke, let's find out how to come out of the water to breathe. So remember how I told you to turn your hands out and push the water away. It helps you to propel straight forward. Now, using the same logic, if you push the water on your left hand side, you'd move on your right. If you push the water on your right, your body moves on your left. So my question is, where should one move the water in order to come up? That's right, you should move the water down. Push the water downward as you separate your arms, using this motion to leverage your head above the water. You should lift your chin as you initiate the movement with your palms and forearms, ensuring your head emerges above the water. It would give you the most time with your head above the surface. You may have noticed that you don't have much time with your head out of the water. Make sure you use this time to inhale before going back inside the water. Remember about the pause with our arms extended in front. This is exactly where you should exhale underneath the water before you come out to the surface. Blow bubbles with your face in the water. Start your stroke and lift your chin to breathe, then put your face back in and recover your arms. Repeat it over and over again. If it seems like there is hardly enough time to catch your breath, don't worry, you're not alone. I have a helpful tip that can simplify things for you. I have developed a mantra to help you to remember the breaststroke once and for all. Repeat after me. Bubbles, goggles, arms. Bubbles, let the air out of your lungs while in the water. Goggles, lift your chin to get your goggles out of the water. Arms, make a stroke and get your face out. Bubbles, goggles, arms. Bubbles, goggles, arms.
Okay, now let's put everything together except the breathing. If you still need to learn how to make the breaststroke kick, watch my video explaining this kicking technique. Let's win breaststroke with the face staying inside first. The key here is to produce the stroke separate from the kick. Make sure you glide every time you produce the propulsion of your kicks. Make a stroke with your arms and return them to the initial position. Kick and allow yourself to glide for a little while. Let's make it rhythmical. Count one when making a stroke, count two when kicking, count three, four, five while gliding with your arms and legs extended and the face staying inside the water. Pull, one, kick, two, glide, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Let's add the breathing and assemble everything, making it look like an actual breaststroke. Pull and breathe. Go back inside the water and recover your arms. Kick, glide and blow the bubbles. Pull and breathe one, kick two, glide and blow the bubbles three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. If it feels that you go too deep underneath the water, don't panic. This is how you can fix it. Hold your breath until your body is pushed out to the surface. Once you're up, exhale and then proceed to the next stroke. Don't worry if the breaststroke doesn't come along right away. Check out the video about the most common mistakes while learning breaststroke and how to fix them. I'm happy to have you on my channel. Thank you and see you next time.